Hello everyone, before we start this video, a quick mention of the ongoing fundraiser for Sanef to raise money for a Mitsubishi Pajero, free monoculars and a Mavic drone for the 44th Battalion. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Now, today's video. So this video we can see a Russian T-90 tank getting attacked by drones. Now, I can't say this was destroyed, but it likely did suffer some damage. These types of drones we have seen are effective against tanks in the past. Now, whether these fail to destroy this one is simply down to the T-90 being better and tougher than the usual T-72s or T-80s, or the fact that to knock out a tank, the drone needs to hit the tank in its weak points, and here, in this case, it didn't. In this video, we see one of the drones does hit the T-90 on the front, shown in this screenshot here, where the armour is pretty thick. So I don't think this strike here would have caused much damage to it. Now the geolocation. The T-90 was here, aiming towards the northwest. It wasn't moving and was likely abandoned when it was targeted by this pair of drones. Zoomed out we can see that this is north of Bakhmut, actually near a settlement called Burkivka. On Deep States, Burkivka is shown just north of the Green Liberated Territory, southwest of Krasnohora. So this happened right on the front lines. Even though the T-90 wasn't destroyed, it was likely damaged, and something did happen to it to lead to it being abandoned, as it did look like this T-90 was abandoned when the drones arrived. As you can see here, T-90s are quite rare on Oryx. We have 35T-90A, a T-90AK, 7T-90S, which is the export version, and 25T-90Ms. Russia had 350 T-90As and 67 T-90Ms in service last year, but we have seen T-90Ss removed from storage, which were originally intended for export, and Russia has also produced more T-90Ms since then. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.